Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn everything about a module called Node Cron. What is a cron job? Why do we need a cron job? How do we use Node Cron in our Node.js applications or even for that matter, even in Express.js applications? This is a masterclass tutorial. We'll learn everything from basic to advanced. Let's get started right away. All right, so what is Node Cron? Any cron job or a cron tool is a tool that allows us to execute some tasks on a schedule. Think of it like a bad job in if you may want to relate it. I'll give you a few examples. You want to take a backup of some data at every day at 11 o'clock in the night. This is a good example, classic example. The other examples could be when a user hits an endpoint, we want to trigger a certain web crawler or certain type of background task at a given certain time. It can also be a triggered one. That means when a user clicks on, let's say, schedule a task, we want to start the bad job or stop that. There are multiple use cases which needs to be running in the background. That's where cron jobs comes into picture. When working with Node.js applications, there is a module called Node Cron. That's what we are learning today which is a tiny task scheduler, which is implemented in pure JavaScript for Node.js based applications. We need to pass time, right? And that is in a full, full cron tab syntax. If you're coming from Unix world, you would be able to relate it. If not, worry not, I will cover it in this tutorial. The next thing we'll learn is what are the features of Node cron? We can set up these cron jobs very easily. We can execute a cron job at a given timestamp or in a recursive mode. We can easily start or stop any cron job easily via methods or based on certain conditions or our logic in the application. We can trigger these cron jobs through endpoints. That means if you are implementing a REST based application, you can expose an API. Using that, we can start or stop these cron jobs. Since it's a node, cron is a node module, which means we can use it in any existing Node.js application or an Express.js application. So how, do, how are we going to use it? We are going to use it in three simple steps. One, we are going to install the node cron. Then we are going to require it, that is import it. And then we use a method called dot schedule to schedule that particular task. All right. So these are the three really simple steps that we need to do. So let's get started with the hands on. All right, so for the, to make it more easy, I'm going to start from scratch for you. So I'm going to call it node cron tutorial. That's a folder name I've given. Now I'm going to go to my terminal and I'm going to do a, go to that folder. And here I'm going to say NPM init. That means it will initialize a package for us. I'm just going to enter all the defaults for now and we will have a package.json file. Right now there are no dependencies, but we need a node cron module. So I'm going to say npm install node hyphen cron. All right, so this has installed the node cron as a dependency, right? Now let's go ahead and create our main file, which is index.js. All right, so what are we going to implement? We are going to pick up a simple basic code that's that you can also start working with. So I'm going to say node.js simple node.js hello world right so just you can go to the node.js website and pick up the basic code that we can work with nothing fancy you can just copy as it is it's just a hello world application all right so just save it okay and now here you type node index.js and you see the server is running at this particular local host on port number 3000 right so what happens? How do we invoke it? We say 127.0.0.3000 and we see the output as hello world. All right, so this was simple Node.js server that I've set up to test Node Cron. All right, so let's close this for now. And now let's do the Node Cron work, which is I'm going to import it here and say cron is equal to require and oh, I'm going to say require and what do we need? We need node cron, save it. All right, 
So now using this instance of node cron, we can schedule job. So here I'm going to say every time we start a server, I want to start a cron job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply say cron dot schedule, cron dot schedule. And here it will take a cron expression, which is nothing but the time, right? And it starts with seconds, um, minutes, hours, days, like that. So it would really take six attributes, one, two, three, four, five, and six, all right? And then there will be a call callback method that we will use to set up this particular cron job, right? So that's the most simplest thing that you can think of. Now, what we are going to do here is we are going to say schedule and I'm going to say console.log task started, submitted successfully. Right. So let's trigger this now and you would see it It should say UUID is required, I believe. Yep. So that module is required. So I'm going to say npm install UUID and there it added the package. I think now oh. and Node.js. So now the server is running. You see it's continuously running. The task is continuously running because we told it start immediately as long as the server is listening. So this is a recursive job which will require us to cancel then only it will stop. Okay. So this is the most classic and basic example of how do you start a cron job. But if you want to learn more about it, you can go to node cron and you can go to this package and learn more about it. But I'm going to see, you can see here, like I told you, it will take six params. The first is optional, which is seconds, minute, hour, day of month, month and day of week. Okay, so these are the six params that we pass it here. Okay, so let's modify this and make it something like if you want to make a call every 30 seconds, right? So earlier I had it here star, which means start immediately. Now I'm saying run this job every 30 seconds. Okay, I want this particular console message every 30 seconds. You saw earlier how it was printing immediately recursively. Now when I run it, it would only give after every 30 seconds. Let's see that. Okay, so for the first message came after 30 seconds. Similarly, if we wait um, another 30 seconds, it would show up uh, the next message. So if you want to schedule anything at a given time, you can use this format. You can pass these seconds, minutes, hours. If you say every one hour, you can make it one. So it will run in every one hour. I have put 30 seconds because I want to show you how it works as a demo. If I put one hour, I don't think I can show you the output, but I will leave you that with a homework. Okay. What I want you to do is make it one here and put a star here. That means you want this job to run every one hour, right? If you want it every 10 hours or 12 hours, make it 11 or 12 and it would trigger at every 10 hours or 11 hours or 12 hours, whatever value you pass. So that is, these are the values that you pass seconds, minutes, hours, day, month, and particular day of the month. Okay. So you see here, the next message came in after 30 seconds. All right. So these are the two use cases I showed you. One is if you want to invoke it immediately, you would put a star. If you want it after 30 seconds, you'll put 30. If you want it after 10 hours, you'll put 10. Okay. All right. So now let's do one more thing here. I'm going to cancel this here. All right. So the next use case I'm going to show you is there will be instances where you want to kickstart or start or stop these jobs based on certain conditions, right? Let's say your application says if the value reaches 200, then you start this job. If the value reaches over 500, stop the job etc right so let's learn how to start or stop any particular cron schedule job at on demand right so let's get started and what i'm going to do i'm going to take this into a variable and say task equal to right and then we can say let's say set time out set time out and then we will use our simple javascript method like how we do set timeout and I'm going to do a timeout here. Okay. 
and then I'm going to give the timer. So I am going to say after every five seconds, what we should do is we should start the task. See here. So this is nothing but the variable or the cron scheduler that we took the method. And here we are telling after every five seconds start it, right? So let's do one thing. So I am going to kickstart this immediately and then stop it and start. So I'm going to start it at every three seconds and I'm going to say stop it at five seconds. So instead of start you now you will say stop. So see now what we have done we have put our logic and we are saying start it at three seconds or let's say two seconds and stop it when it reaches five seconds. Right. So this is how you can start or stop any cron job if you want to. Now let's run this. So I've started the server. It immediately, it started printing immediately. Or let me give you another, um, I think the best way to show you would be adding a one more method to stop it first. So I'm going to copy the stop one more time and place it right here. And I'm going to say stop it when it reaches two seconds, then restart it at five and stop it at eight. Okay. So this would kick off the job immediately. It will stop after two seconds. Then it will start at five seconds. Then it will start at it. Stop at eight seconds. Let's see this. So see this now it started printing recursively and it stopped because we said after two seconds. Again it started at five seconds and it stopped. Right. Okay, so that's the output. It stopped at eight seconds, right? So if we don't do this, it would keep printing recursively. That's what we don't want. So now it stopped, it won't print any value, right? So that is how basically we can use start and stop methods to engage or to, or basically apply the logic of our application and start and stop the services. Similarly, if you are doing with say Express.js, right? You will create an endpoint and there in the endpoint, you can trigger this particular cron job. Here I'm starting at cron schedule. You can do the same at any method or at a service. Uh, let's say when it hits an endpoint, then you might want to use it. Right. So that there are different variations of how you can use it. Okay. So I will leave that as an homework for you. The important thing that you should know and you should learn about this is uh, how to use how to use node cron. Right. Second, um, schedule any batch job. Schedule a task at a given time. Right. I did this example. I started it immediately. If you give all the stars asterisks, that means um, you will give immediately. One of the mistakes that a lot of people do is they don't give this format correctly. There has to be six values, right? Six asterisks if you want to start it immediately. If you want to start it at 30 seconds, you would give 30 and then followed by five asterisks. Right. So that's your starting at 30 seconds. Now trigger. Trigger start and stop methods. With task based on some condition. Right. If you know this you can master node cron and you can apply that any in any node.js or express.js application you can even use it at an express endpoint also if you like i hope uh, it's clear now i hope uh, you would be able to use node cron or set up bad jobs based on uh, your condition and based on your applications but do learn more about it at npmjs slash package slash node hyphen cron that's all I have in this particular tutorial. Um, thank you so much. Uh, please do subscribe, share, uh, like these tutorials. Uh, please, uh, YouTube has introduced a new mechanism to support creators like me, uh, which is super thanks. Uh, please do consider uh, supporting me and my channel. I have published few eBooks and templates. Uh, you can find them at arctutorials.gumroad.com. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you again in the new tutorial. Thank you and take care.